So today I'm going to be talking about the next Straw Hat member, the next Nakama. But before you could even get into that, who do you think will be the next Nakama member? Who do you want to be the next Nakama member? You got to ask yourself this very big question. Will there even be a next Nakama member? Now, a lot of people like to go off of the idea that Luffy said he wanted roughly 10 people on his ship, so there will be eventually 10 people. But at the end of the day, you got to look at it first and foremost in reality and look at the series for what it is. This is a manga inside of a magazine that is ultimately a business. Now, One Piece is obviously the most successful manga to date. And like they say, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And I honestly wouldn't be surprised if at this point we don't ever get a next Nakama. Not saying that that's what I think will happen or what should happen. But at the end of the day, it's a huge possibility that Brooke will have been the last official Nakama member to join the crew as a straw hat. Because if you look closely, how long has it been since we've actually had a new straw hat member? It's been a while. It's been hundreds of chapters since we've gotten a new member. Now, that could be many different things. It could be that Oda just hasn't found a character that he really loves to draw. It could be that he just feels as though he has a right amount right now. He doesn't want to add any more. It could be that he feels as though they've all gone through this journey together so adding another person will mess up the dynamics or it could also be something further what if there's a possibility that pretty much shonen jump is like yo at the end of the day it ain't broke don't fix it so don't add a new member because right now we are at the peak we're at the height of it and adding a new member could cause friction could make us lose fans or it could possibly be that they're saying yo Let's poll. Maybe he's been doing this for a while. Who knows? Maybe back in the day during Alabasta, maybe it was a possibility that Vivi would become a Straw Hat member someday, but they polled and no one gave a shit about Vivi. If you look closely, how many people already have been kind of chilling with the Straw Hats, have been around the Straw Hats, and then ultimately they go off on their own journey? Not saying that all these people should have been Straw Hats, but it could have been a possibility that Oda was looking at it like, okay, or not even necessarily Oda, Shonen Jump. These people, let's see how people gravitate towards them. Let's see how interesting they are. And let's see ultimately how Oda wants to put them into the story and where they fit in the story, how he's going to write them. Will they have a uh, reason to be a part of Straw Hat? So I definitely say that you got to ask that big question. Do you even think there will be a next Straw Hat before you could even go further than that? What do you guys think? I think that... At some point in the distant future, there might be a next Straw Hat. I'm hoping that there will be at least one or two more to shake up the dynamics of the crew and make things a little bit more exciting and interesting because we've been with the same people for a while now, and don't get me wrong. I love the crew. I mean, come on. I'm 700 plus chapters invested. Hello. But I think it would be interesting to add a new member. Now, with this one, I really want to more so talk about who I think fits best and who I want personally to be a uh, next straw hat. Because at the end of the day, Oda constantly throws twists and turns left and right onto, you know, the next member could possibly be. Or just introducing different characters and having them go off on their own journey. So, I'm going to really more so focus on who I personally think fits and overall is what I would ideally like in a straw hat. Now, from the get-go, I will say that I definitely would like, ideally, another female. At the end of the day, right now, it is a huge sausage fest on that boat. We got, like, seven dudes and two females. I think it's about time to add a little bit more vads to that ship. I'm just saying. So let's talk about some of the candidates that people have theorized throughout the last couple of years as to who might be Straw Hats. Now, for a bit, people were saying Baby Five and Monet. Now, obviously, Monet, she's dead, so that's not going to happen unless Oda pulls a pell with her as well, which I doubt at this point he would. I mean, I think Monet is safe to say is dead. Baby Five, I feel as though... While she is an interesting character, she is mostly dedicated to Doflamingo. I just don't see her flipping and going with the Straw Hats. It would be interesting because Sanji would have a field day and a half with them buns, but I don't see it happening. And not to mention, I feel as though she's just done a little bit too many things to kind of fit well with the group. While she's, you know, interesting and like a female and she kicks ass and she has this interesting ability, she's probably done a lot of rotten things, really rotten things to the point where you kind of be like, uh, I don't know if I want her really around. What if she gets pissed off and decides to like, like, stab Nami in the tit or something. Since Law's introduction into the new world without him having his crew, people have said that they think Law might be a straw hat. I think that that's completely not going to happen, and I just personally wouldn't want that to happen anyway. He's, you know, the heart pirates. He's the leader. He's his own man. He has no reason to follow Loopy other than, you know, how they had that pact at the time. But at the end of the day, I just don't personally see him being one. I don't feel as though he should be one. He is his own man. He's too beast to be following anybody else's order. Maybe at some given point, again, they could team up again. But as far as like him becoming a straw hat 
nah, I just, I don't want it or see it or it just shouldn't happen. Although their alliance was pretty freaking epic. Now we have Jinbei waiting in the wings and he said, you know, meet me later on in New World. I got things to do. And once we meet up again, if you still have that offer for me, I'm ready to take it. A lot of things can happen in between the time that we last seen Jinbei and the next time we do see Jinbei. For you know, Jinbei could die. Jinbei could decide, you know what, I'm going to be a revolutionary. I'm sorry. Once again, I have to reject your offer once again because I got things to do. Or he could possibly even die before the next time we see him. Maybe he could be dead in between. Maybe he could die just as he's about to accept the offer. There's several different things with Jinbei. So to say that he is indeed the next straw hat, you don't know what could possibly happen. Me personally, I think Jinbei is cool. I like it when he's with the Straw Hats. I don't really want him to be a Straw Hat because I feel as though he has too much wisdom. And I like how the Straw Hats, they're going into New World somewhat blind. And that's what makes the adventure and the journey more exciting. They don't know what's going to happen. They don't know about New World. They don't really know anything about this strange new place. But Jinbei does. And having Jinbei there, he'll just be like a guide map. And I think it's more so more interesting when they go to these islands and these places and they don't know about the people or anything like that. It makes it more exciting and more fresh and new of an experience looking at the crew as they they, you know, discover things. So, Jinbei, cool, cool character. I enjoy him, but I don't really want him to be a straw hat. We have Kinemon and his son, Momonosuke. I will tell you right now, Kinemon, eh, I'm not that big of a fan of him. His son, I absolutely hate Momonosuke. While he's cool as a little dragon thing, I personally wouldn't mind if he is just like him and his son are like a VB, hangs with the crew for a while, maybe goes from a couple of islands, you know, traveling with them but then ultimately he finds his destination maybe at Wano Kuni whatever the case may be but I just don't personally especially Momonosuke I cannot stand like 600 500 600 chapters of Momonosuke groping Nami's tits and getting away with it and all this bullshit like no let's get rid of Momonosuke Kide Mom, cool little style or whatever but ultimately I don't really personally care for him and I think that he doesn't really add anything like, really refreshing to the group, opposed to, like, you know, you got, like, Brooke there, you have Brooke, he's kind of like the pervert, and then we already have a couple of swordsmen, so, I mean, if he ends up becoming a straw hat, I guess it'd be alright, but I just don't really want him to be straw hat either. Which leaves me with two other people that I'm going to be talking about, and that's Bartholomew and Rebecca, the final two people that I'm going to be talking about, whether I feel they should be straw hats, whether they will be straw hats. I will say, between the two of them, they both have somewhat of a thing that I kind of want for the crew. I think that Rebecca, she's a fighter, she's a female, so again, that adds more of a variety variety to the crew and overall I think that Rebecca fits very well in them like between the two characters if I had to say one of them that I feel as though fits better with the crew it would be Rebecca I mean Bartholomew is just like this gangster you know gang lord type of guy and while it, it would be a fucking twist and a half to throw him into the crew he ultimately already has his crew but that's not to say that he wouldn't leave his crew I mean at the end of the day Frankie had his own crew at some given point and you know he ultimately left them to be with the straw hat so I wouldn't completely rule out just because he has his own crew that he wouldn't leave them and go with Luffy or whatever. Overall, between the two, as a character, I like Bartholomew more than Rebecca. I think Bartholomew is fucking awesome, whether he's kicking ass or fanboying over the straw hats. Ultimately, I just think the dude is cool as shit. Who I think fits better with the crew? Rebecca. I mean, I could totally see her chilling with Nami and Robin. I think she's a little bit of a younger girl than them, so it adds a little bit of a variety as well. You got Nami. I think Nami is now at this point, um, 20 19 20 i think she was like a year older than luffy or same like she's like 20 or so like I, I think she was either two years older than luffy or a year older so she's like 20 21 uh we got robin at like 30 and then we'd have rebecca that's like you know 16 a little bit new she's a fighter i've talked with a, a couple different people about this they've said that they feel as though her fighting style definitely isn't the most formidable outside of like an arena type of you know gladiator type of fight and while that is true there is the big possibility that she will get the mara mara no me which if she does indeed get the Mara Mara no me, I'm gonna be pretty pissed if she doesn't stick with the crew because at this point it would be basically the Mara Mara fruit staying with Rebecca on Dress Rosa. Like, Aces fruit just staying with some girl that they just met in an in a island that they probably will never visit again or they'll probably visit at the very end of the series. So, if she does get the Mara Mara fruit, if anything that will add to her because one of the things that I don't really care for Rebecca is that while she's a fighter, you can definitely see a, a lot of inexperience in her because she's so young and like ideally I would personally like a little bit more of a seasoned feel to her and I think giving her the Mara Mara fruit and just over time going through New World with them would add a little bit more of a flair to her and also I think she could be a little bit more hardened as well 
well. She seems a little bit uh, on the sensitive side, so add a little bit more of a tougher feel to her, and Rebecca would definitely fit. Between the two, personally, I like Bartholomew as a character more. I think Rebe Rebecca fits better, and between the two, I could probably see more so Rebecca joining than Bartholomew, and that's assuming a couple things, because first of all, we gotta see how all this is gonna play out in Dress Bros, so who's gonna end up staying alive between her two relatives, her male relatives, obviously, her grandfather and her father, because if they do indeed survive, and they can stay and take care of Dress Rosa, then that would free up Rebecca to go with the Straw Hats, but if King Riku and Kidos die, then Rebecca would need to stay on the island, or even if King Riku dies, then Rebecca would have to stay and take over as the throne. I'm more so hoping that they survive and Rebecca can go on, or at the very least King Riku survives, and he's like, yo, I'm gonna hold down the fort, don't worry about it, you go and you go on an adventure and find out whatever you're looking for, whatever the case may be, so between the two, I just ultimately would slightly go more so with Rebecca, while Bartholomew I prefer as a character, I think he's more awesome, I just think that she fits better, and it just adds a better variety, you know, another female and just a young fighter, and it gives something that, like, the other two females in the crew don't have already, which Nami and Robin, while they're cool, they're chill, Robin's mature, Nami's kind of like, oh, money, 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 Rebecca's more so along the lines of a fighter, and that's pretty much it regarding my whole ideas of the next straw hat who I want to be who I think might be ideally right now Rebecca is probably the best candidate I know some people don't really care for her I think she's interesting enough of a character and you give her the Mara Mara no me and have her keep on going on the journey she will become a seasoned fighter and be more of a beast than ever and just overall she meshes well not to mention a nice pair of tits on that bitch hey but let me know what you guys think who do you think is the next straw hat who do you want to be the next straw hat did I not mention somebody that you really want to be the next straw hat or you know just from this list do you think one of these people will indeed be the next straw hat or you want them to let me know in the comment section below and your overall thoughts of even if there will be a next straw hat there's quite a few questions you can really consider before you even go to actually what you want to be the next straw hat or who you want to be the next straw hat but that's all i have for this video thanks for watching hope you enjoyed thumbs up for the next nakama whoever it may be hopefully it's just a beast person that fits well with the crew and just gives a new exciting flair because we've been with the same people for a while now it would be interesting to see how they act with a new member official member with the crew i'm for world and as always, people, have an awesome day.